Okay, folks, here's a quick review of the Imperial Navy Commander figure that was produced by Hasbro as a part of the Star Wars Vintage Collection line of products. I picked this up at Target for $9.99. Now, this is a character that was a part of the original 12 figures of the Kenner Star Wars figure line. Back in those days, he was known as Death Squad Commander. And it was good to see that Hasbro chose to use the same card back art as Kenner did for this uh, updated figure release, as it brought back some good childhood memories for me. The articulation joints were pretty stiff initially, but uh, slowly began to free up with repeated movements. There's articulation in the neck, the shoulders, the elbows, the forearms, the waist, uh, the hips, the knees, and the ankles. Uh, there's no wrist articulation, and there are no ankle rockers on this figure. The tunic of his uniform is made of a soft plastic, and it does hinder the hip articulation a little bit, but not enough, enough so to uh, give me a great deal of concern. And on a side note, Maybe it's just me, but does this head sculpt look like Johnny Carson a little bit? It does to me. Uh, anyway, uh, paint apps were nicely done on the figure with no appreciable errors to speak of. So let me pause here, zoom in, and I'll give you a closer look as to what the uh, Imperial Navy Commander looks like. Okay. The Imperial Navy Commander came with two accessories, so let me pan down real quick and I'll show you what they look like. Uh, the figure stand that you see him standing on was not included in the package and was purchased by me separately. Okay, so as you can see, he comes with a laser pistol and his uniform helmet. Now, the helmet is a good fit for this figure and it straps firmly under his chin. However, uh, the laser pistol is a bit of a loose fit in either hand, so I would advise uh, keeping the small transparent rubber band that's included in the packaging uh, to give the pistol a better fit in his hands. The laser pistol does fit snugly into the belt holster located on the commander's right hip. Back to the figure itself. What I'll do now is a quick 360 of the Imperial Navy Commander for you and let you see what he looks like from all sides. So overall, I'd have to say that this figure is a nice update, and it should make for a great army builder. The only problem that I ran into was the inability to hold on to the laser pistol properly. So um, in spite of that little problem, and it is just little, um, I still think that the Imperial Navy Commander should get a great recommendation. This is a great army builder for your uh, Star Wars Imperial Forces, so if you see him in stores, pick him up. Okay, so on that note, take care and stay tuned for my next review. Have a good one.